How's it going, gents? Here we are at NURB1 HQ, uh, getting the bike set up. Um, you probably have heard that I was uh, planning on doing a Simpson Crossing. Um, I'll show you what that is. Here's the uh, Simpson Desert on a map of Australia. So there's Australia. Simpson Desert is right here. If you can see that. So the plan is to ride from Melbourne, which is down here, all the way up. Queensland to Birdsville, which is uh, like here somewhere, and then right across the Simpson Desert, um, and then come back, and then back down to Melbourne. So, massive trip. Uh, here are our steeds that we're taking. Um, so, we've got Osmotica, he's a Hello. KTM 690, he's got a safari tank on it, he's gone full elephant spec, he's gone for as much weight as possible. Um, <laughs> like the I've gone for the lightweight. KTM 690, no safari tank. Um, just gonna have fuel bladders in the back. Um, I'll go over what's on my bike in a second. Um, and then we've got NURB 1's Big Beast, the big KTM 1190 Adventure R. So he's got, he's got already a lot of fuel and stuff, a lot of power, a lot of weight though. Yeah. Are you stressed out? A little bit worried now that I've weighed <laughs> your guys' stuff. Well, you can probably notice we've all got tires on the back as well. Um, we've got to do about a thousand k's of road before we actually get to dirt and you kind of want to have a fresh um, knobby tire so that's why we're running like I've, I've got a road tire on the back and then a fresh rear tire um, front knobbies should hold up hopefully but we'll find out um, obviously we've got to have uh, enough fuel across the simpson desert which is 500 k's of sand dunes um, you know my ktm stock We'll do 250Ks on a perfect day on a road. So in the sand, you need a lot of extra fuel. So we're looking at carrying probably around another 30 litres of fuel on top of our fuel tank and then 10 litres of water or so. So uh, that's why we've got a lot of stuff on the back. We're just weighing everyone's gear. I think Nerb's gonna win the heaviest gear award. Um, I'll weigh mine. Mine's pretty... Uh, Pretty, I went pretty hardcore on going lightweight everything. So that's pretty much everything is in that yellow bag there for like 12 days of, uh, of camping. Um, we'll weigh it and find out what it's like and I'll show you what's in it. So the bags I got on my bike, we've got a uh, the Wolfman tank bag. Um, I've got another Wolfman duffel bag on the back here. And then I've got the Alt Rider, the like saddle bags, but they just loop over. So if I take off this, you can see that they just kind of loop over. Um, you can actually put a lot of junk in the top of it, but I'm just using the kind of saddlebags, which are empty now, but will have fuel and water in them when we're actually crossing the Simpson. They'll be filled up with uh, fluids and stuff. Um, so I'll weigh my, this is my bag that's got everything in it. Camping gear, cooking gear, clothes, um, mattress, camp chair, absolutely everything. I'll show you what's in there, but we're gonna weigh it now and find out how much it weighs. Can you weigh this, Nerb son? Nerbsum. This should weigh. Ugh. It's got everything. Oh in my it. god! Everything oh my in god. it. What, what am I going to win? Ten kilos? No, this is more than ten kilos. I don't know. Let's see. Oh. Come on. You ready? Win. Holy crap! Seven point six. Everything. Good job. Really? That's everything. Everything. Bloody hell. Yeah. What's in there? Oh, you've already explained that on the video, have you? I haven't. Do you want to see? I'll oh, show sure. you. Let me know what's, let me know what's in there. Room for a small child. <laughs> You'll be amazed at how compressed my clothes are, man. They get like, they it's, I was so amazed how, how small I could make it. Yeah. Do you want some more? <laughs> Jeez, so, heaps of rain. first aid pack. Need that for you, nerd. That's all my cook shit. So it's got a stove in it, uh, gas, everything, um, and you cook it in the pot and everything. Remember these bad boys? Yes. The, 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 the mug and the, and the plate and the bowl. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they can't get it. Um, of course, got the Bear Grylls survival kit. In case we freaking get stuck out there forever, we'll be able to live out there indefinitely. They could actually still track this back. This is the new, yeah. This is the new tent, the MSR tent. Uh, the Hubba, best tent man, yeah. best tent ever. It's really small. Yeah. Helinox camp chair, world's best freaking camp chair that one. 
That's like half the room. I yeah. love that. I've got rope, but I'm not going to take that because you got rope. Yeah. Unless we need two ropes, towing two people. Um, no, mate, we need something to make the clothesline out of that. Yeah. When we do uh, it, we some new goggles. That's my clothes. What? Yeah. It is so compressed. It's ridiculous, man. Like. Okay, I'm gonna get my clothes. Out. That's a pair of pants, four t-shirts, uh, like five sets of underwear, five sets of socks. What? Um, thermals and shit. Tons of shit. I don't know how it compressed so well. It was awesome. That's my <laughs> sleeping bag. I feel how light that is. Jesus Christ. So it's a, a down Kathmandu oh, sleeping yeah. bag. So it's like, what is it rated to? Like survival. Uh, I think the comfort will be zero. Yeah, comfort zero. Survival's like neg 15 or something. But yeah. Oh, goose down. 700 yeah, gold. goose down. No, that'll be good. Compare that to my clothes. What the? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? We're doing a fashion show or something, nerd no, man. What the frick, <laughs> man? My bag of clothes is bigger than that. <laughs> What or do you need so much clothes? A couple pair of t-shirts and we're going to be in riding gear. you fit that? That's that what you just explained is in yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. There. That's <laughs> all that is. Just like, you just compressed yours a lot smaller. Yeah. Than That's yeah. my pillow. Oh, no, no. Pillows in there. Stubby. And that's my mattress. I've got the yeah. Thermarest, Thermarest Neo bloody tiny ass thing. So that's everything really. Oh, uh, the paper one. Bloody yeah, hell. the tissue paper freaking mattress. <laughs> it stresses me out. This mattress is, it's, it feels so thin, but I've slept on rocks and shit and it hasn't exploded. It probably will the first night we freaking go out, but... So yeah, that's all my camping that's and cool. cooking gear, clothes, even first aid kit, just got like batteries to the torch and everything. I've got my head torches in my tank bag and yeah. uh, a few other things, that but yeah. That is impressive, Tom. I'll quickly show, I'll show you what's in the tank bag as well. So tank bag's just got things like GoPro, uh, camera, uh, head torch, um, phone and stuff. So the, again, this is just going to have fuel. So it has two 1.5 litre canisters in there. That'll be used for um, the ride up there if we need to quickly get fuel and stuff. But otherwise, they can hold 20 litres in each side. Um, so when we go up there, I'll have like 30 litres of fuel in there. Plus the 12 in the tank. And that should get me across the Simpson. Um, got a backpack as well, um, that'll just have food in it. I'll just also quickly show you some little mods that I've done to the 690. So I've got Bark Busters obviously on it. Um, these are weights on the end of it, just stop the vibrations. Obviously it's a single cylinder so it has a lot of vibrations sitting on the freeway so that just tones it down a little bit. Heated grips, got the Oxford uh, Adventure heated grips. So um it's cold as shit on the way up to the desert um then it'll get hot but uh these are the double take mirrors pretty much indestructible they're just ram mounts on so they take five seconds to take off got a ram mount and then an x grip for my phone um there's a usb port down there so a phone will run off that um also got this which should go on the tank bag this is a double 2.5 amp um, goes in the tank bag and then connects up down here with a one of these little SAE connectors um, Just in there So it'll be charging all my camera gear and stuff. Obviously, we're we're just camping So it's gonna be no power points or anything. We got to freaking charge everything off the bikes. Oh, and also um, I've got a new seat. This is a seat concept seat um, obviously 10 hour days of sitting on a dirt bike seat would suck so got one that's a bit bit firmer a bit wider and stuff and uh oh and a bash plate the adventure spec bash plate um just to stop rocks and shit trashing it pretty much all i've done to the 690 um and she's pretty much desert ready here's my uh new helmet as well quickly show that off it's a new shoey hornet very nice looking cool new helmet i i destroyed my other one when i had that crash in broadford so i've been meaning to replace it it's got a center prism mount gopro mount and a center 20s on it tinted visor should be good helmet for the simpson doing a lot of freaking a lot of riding thousand k's and pretty much the first day so hopefully she's comfy also, you'll be able to follow our progress using Nerb's cool thing. What is this thing, Nerb? What does this it do? This is the Delorme InReach Explorer, and it's going to uh, 
where, uh, so that someone can find your body uh, to pick yep. it up later. Uh, and that will also track us and people can actually watch uh, our track. And I can't remember the name of the link off the top of my head. I'll put, so a link, I'll put a link in the description. You can track where we're going, our average speed. This thing will do what, freaking 250 all the way up there, the old 1190. <laughs> Maybe not fully loaded. Freaking, yeah, I'll be, I'll be putting along at freaking 110 on the 690. Way down a bit, but um, I've got to change the freaking rear tire as well, changing tires. Oh God, that'll be fun when we're up there with nothing but a couple tire levers and shit. Oh, it's going to be freaking, it's going to be an adventure, isn't it, Nerb? What's, it our, what's our chances of us actually making it? 108%. Oh, lies. I reckon, <laughs> I guarantee one of us don't. Is <laughs> no we'll problem. see. Well, we've all got the right bikes, KTM's. You got you got a silly Triumph, no, man. That's, that's what he's gonna take. You're gonna take the, the take the CB. I was scared to take the morning. <laughs> we've also got a Triumph Tiger. What, 800 XC? Is that what it is? Yeah. 800 XC coming along as well. Not here today, but these three KTM's will make it, and we'll have to tow the uh, tow the Triumph out. <laughs> So guys, you'll be seeing some uh, some videos come out of us tackling the desert soon. So I, this today is what Sunday. I leave on Wednesday. Um, so just getting all the bikes ready and everything. Um, so we're gone for 12 days in the desert. Um, probably get no phone reception or anything, but um, going to be filming everything. There's obviously going to be a lot of freaking crashes, a lot of freaking drama. Probably most of us will die. We'll find out what happens. It's can be pretty sketchy in the freaking sand. I'm, I'm arguably the worst sand rider on the planet. So I think that's why old mate Nerb said, let's cross the freaking Sahara Desert. Just to freaking laugh at me the whole time. So uh, freaking when you see us, we'll be in the world's biggest, world's biggest sand dune desert, the Simpson Desert. Let's see if I can do it. Mm.